Time to punch up the heat and flavor with Villain Sauce Company in today's episode of Hot Flash. Hello and welcome to Hot Flash, the hot sauce review series designed to burn your mouth, not your time. I'm RJ, taking a look at ingredients, smell, taste, potato salad, stir fry, wings, and a few final thoughts to help you expand your sauce collection. We're burning precious seconds, so let's fire it up with Villain Sauce Company's Smoky Mountain Punch. Despite being a habanero-based sauce, it leads off with chili peppers, which is a little disappointing to see as the habaneros don't come in until the fifth ingredient. However, ghost peppers and chipotle peppers sneak in at number 9 and 10, providing much needed backup for heat. The chipotle peppers are a great addition to provide that extra little bit of smoke flavor to the sauce. Let's see how it smells. The smoke flavor is the star of the show with this sauce, and that warm smoke flavor is enough to get the saliva glands going on their own. A bit of red pepper comes through to accompany the smoke, not much of a heat burning through the nose considering the peppers involved, but let's see how it tastes. Let's break this down. There is an immediate burn right on the tip of the tongue. The burn builds up over a few seconds, but does fade fairly quickly. The smoke flavor is a wonderful addition to the habanero flavor though, and the heat of the ghost can be known as help bolstering the overall heat of the sauce. Villain advertises this as a 3 out of 5 on their bottle, and I'm certainly inclined to agree, though I'd probably put it at a 2.5 at most based on my own palate. Enough sauce on its own, let's throw it in some potato salad. A great way to amp up potato salad. The smoky flavor comes through while adding in just that bit of a kick from the habanero. It's not going to knock your socks off, but we'll add a bit of smoke and a bit of heat to give you a potato salad with some real character. How does it fare in a stir fry? A little bit of the smoke flavor gets lost, but the heat absolutely doesn't. The heat manages to increase its potency when you're cooking with Smoky Mountain Punch. Some of the bigger pieces received a little more smoke flavor than others, such as the broccoli. But the real question is, does it wing? Oh yeah, this sauce is killer on wings. Wing recommendation, for sure. Between the smoke and the heat, this is a fantastic mid-level hot sauce. As for dishes, if you smoke it, you can sauce it. The smoky flavor of the sauce really lends itself well to beef, venison, and moose. Used on a roast, a prime rib, or some back straps, the heat and smoke will help elevate the cut really well. This is also going to be an absolute knockout on nachos if you're looking for an easy way to kick them up a notch. As always, you can find the sauce linked below. Be sure to support local, and I can't wait to check out the next sauce together. I'm RJ, and a like and subscribe goes a long way in supporting this series. Thank you.